The last time we was in Europe, we had to go through the preliminary rounds and we get beaten by Astra Gugu or, <laughs> you know. Yes, people. Yes, people. Yes, people. Welcome back to the We Talk Football podcast. Back again. How you doing, Quakes? I'm not too bad, mate. I'm not too bad. Had a heavy bank holiday weekend, so I'm, I'm gradually recovering, but yeah, I'm all good. How you doing? I'm fantastic, mate. I'm I'm on the uh, the the latter end of a uh, what like a twelve hour day at this point, so I'm lagging, and um, I feel like energy's gonna be low in this one. But I'm trying to bring it. I've had an espresso, a double espresso, and I'm joined by the top geezer, the best West Ham fan channel in the game. It's Mr. Ben Glander. How you doing, mate? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having me on. I think this is my second or third time. Mate, I think it's. I think it's. To be fair, Third, fourth. I'm a regular now. Yeah, you're. You're pretty much part of the furniture at this point. I feel like. I mean, you've. You've even been. I mean, if there is any OG fans listening or watching, whatever you're. You're what you're on. If you are an OG fan, there is actually a video on the channel of just me and Ben. I think that might be our best ever video. You know most viewed. I don't know if I was our, our most viewed, but I feel like there, there, there was just a synergy, a chemistry that's just <laughs> been lacking in every well, other video. All, yeah. all, those, all those 20 viewers really appreciate the synergy hey, that you, that you hey, two have. That's, 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 that's high <laughs> views for us, Quaker, man. Come right, on, don't, don't, right. don't bash the viewers. I, I, I'll bring the glitz and the glam. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> the glitz and the glam. Before we move off West Ham, I've got um, got some questions for you guys. So what, what would you consider a good season um, for West Ham this season, Ben? So for me, you know, West Ham, we, we don't get blessed with Europe. Right, the last time we was in Europe, we had to go through the preliminary rounds, and we get beaten by Astra Gugu or you know <laughs> some some random team. We got beaten by them twice. Oh, um, so for me, West Ham is about because we didn't know the group that we have, but now we do. You know, have a good account of ourselves in the group stages. Try and go as far as we can. If Rangers can go to the round of sixteen or the quarterfinals of Europa League, what's to say that West Ham can't? You know. Um, again, that is going to hit, you know, depend on of a little bit of luck with injuries. But a good account of ourselves in the Europa League, you know, while still maintaining, you know, decent form in the Premier League. Now, am I expecting West Ham to finish sixth again and maintain Europa League and maybe have a go at the FA Cup? No. But if we finish ninth or tenth and we've given it a good go in the Europa League, then I think that gives us a stabilised season for the next for the next year. Yeah, I. I... I echo a lot of what, what you'd say. I'd take anywhere um, in the Premier League from 10th to 14th, I think. But on the premise that we make it to at least the quarters of the Europa League. Um, I really want us to take the Europa League seriously. Yeah, you know, I do well, yeah. The fact that, you know, for the first time in my life that I, well, I, I, that I can really remember anyway, um, we were in a Europa League draw. That was so exciting. I looked at the, the draw and I was like, Ben, we might have... An away day We're to Belgium, here, mate. <laughs> might have an away day. To, we, we got an away day to to Genk here, mate. Do you know what I mean? Do you want to go Belgium? Yeah. That's something as football fans that not many football fans get to experience, and I definitely never have. You know, so I want us to take this as seriously as possible. You know, we've got some seriously, seriously good players. We've highlighted our squad depth being, you know, poor, but our starting eleven, it's I feel good. like could, I feel like it's very good, and I feel like it could give anyone in the in the Premier League, you know, on the right day, a tough game. I yep. really do believe that. Um, and I feel like a lot of that's down to David Moyes, so hats off to him. But, you know, I want to see us give us a, a good account of ourselves in the Europa League as a result, you know. And if doing that means we have to maybe sacrifice our our form a little bit in the league, I could forgive that. But if we end up, you know, finishing third in the group and then finishing 14th, then it's a howler. Well, we should still be in some kind of Europe because, obviously... Um it's only if you finish fourth that you don't get any kind of European football after because third, I'm pretty sure, goes into the Europa Conference League. Oh, so we'll beat Tottenham in the final. Yes, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll beat Tottenham if they haven't been knocked out already. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure, unless an absolute disaster goes, looking at the group, we should at least finish second, I would imagine. I think, obviously, top goes into the next round. Second is a Europa League playoff to get into the next round. Third is the Europa Conference League so we should at least finish third we should at least be coming out of that, that group in some kind of European football um, but yeah I just want us to have a good go at it you know enjoy the sort of the occasion enjoy the fact that West Ham are in European you know football and that's where I feel like we should belong with the fan base with the size of our, of our stadium whether you debate if it's a built 
purposely for football or not, but the size of it, the backing that the fans give, you know, West Ham should be, their ambition is should be continuous European football. So I want us to go for it, enjoy the occasion that we're in it, and then if it means we finish 10th or it means we go from 10th to 12th, well, realistically, what's the difference? You know, you lose a couple of money in terms of losing a couple of million here and there based on league positions, but, you know, I want a European tour, mate. Yeah, I want a European tour. I, w- I want to play Sevilla in the semis. Yeah. You know, I want, I want mid. I want, all right, all right, all right. This is enough West Ham chat. This is another We Talk West Ham channel. <laughs> I don't want to hear about your European yeah, tours and what you want to get onto hey, up to the in Belgium. The amount of times I've been on this podcast <laughs> and I've had countless amounts of Chelsea fans, <laughs> and there's a love affair for Chelsea fans. Just let me have this. Oh, Ben, we make a really good podcast together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we are thinking about making the We Talk West Ham uh, podcast. Yeah, we Talk West Ham. So yeah. Check that out, guys. I, I won't be tuning into that. I'll tell you. Oh, mate, what a hater, <laughs> what a hater. but yeah i feel like that's all the major talking points from the football um so yeah thank you ever so much for coming on and sharing your opinions mr benjamin glander thank you for having me on again guys this time actually in person rather than via zoom yeah no, it's first time i've seen your legs mate i didn't know you had legs i've just seen you actually <laughs> sitting down in the sea i've never i've never actually seen the bottom half of your body but yeah cheers for coming on man it's uh yeah, been good to chat to you about uh, all west Ham things and uh and premier league things as well